Hello everyone, it's Angie here at Beads and Plenty More. Today I thought I'd show you how to do this bracelet here. So this bracelet's working with this um, leather cording here. This is five millimeters wide and two millimeters thick. And it comes in a variety of colors. And then all the weaving on it is done with this knotted Brazilian wax cord. So I've got one that I've kind of started here that I'm just gonna pull over. And what I've done is I've already put the ribbon end on. So that's what this end is here. And I used a little bit of glue to put it on, um, a bit of E6000 glue. I'm just gonna pin it down to my board here so that I can show you how to do the knots. So, we've got this here. And what we're doing is we're going to do um, square knots to basically add the beads in. So I'm gonna do a couple that don't have beads first. So I've got a left cord and a right cord. I'm gonna bring the left cord across. And if you wanna see a visual shape here, here's your little four, backwards four. Or, sorry, not backwards four, that one's the frontwards four. So basically I'm going over top of my middle cord and I'm gonna come under my right cord. Now the right cord is gonna come around behind the middle cord and through the loop. Pull everything here. I have a lot of cord here because we're going to do the whole bracelet with the one set of cords. Um, I'll give you a supply list at the end if you want to screenshot it. So I'm just going to pull this nice and tight up close to that ribbon end. And then I'm going to do the opposite. So the first time I went over top of the middle cord, this time I'm going to come under it with the left cord. And I'm gonna come over top of the last cord. Now that last cord is gonna come over top of the middle cord and through, through the loop on the other side here. So I'm just gonna pull this tight and it'll give you a chance to see the knot here. There we go. We'll do that same knot again. So this first time, the cord is going to come over top of the middle one and under the last cord. The last cord is going to come around behind and through. And then the second part of the knot, this one is going to come underneath the middle cord. Over top of the last cord. And then this last cord is going to come over top of the middle and through. So pull it tight. So I've got a couple knots there now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bead onto each of the cord ends. So these are size 6 seed beads and I just picked a nice pretty gold color. So I'll put one on this one. And one on the other cord. And we're going to do that same knot again. So this time there's going to be a little bit of a space because you've got the beads that are going to take a little bit of space here. And then the second part underneath. So as you can see, there's a little bit of space where those beads sit. So I'm going to work my way along, and when I get to the other end, I'll do a couple without the beads. And then I'll show you the next step. And see you on the other side. So here I am down at the other end. 
And what I'm going to do is these last couple knots, I tied them fairly tight because I want to make sure they're anchored in place. And I'm going to turn it around. And we're going to start working the other direction. So just set it down here. And I'm going to just basically tie another square knot right on top of this little bundle here of knots with no beads. So same knot we've been tying all along. It's just going to make that area right in there a little bit thicker. So there's one part of it. And here's the second part of it. And I might actually tie one more because there's a, still a bit of space between the beads and where my cord is. So again, we'll just... everything in nice and tight and then I'm going to take one of my cords I'll maybe start with this one and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to wrap it diagonally down the beads so as you can see it's going from top on the one side and it's going across one bead length each way so I'll do that all along here one thing about this bracelet is it's kind of unisex. Like if you did it in more masculine colors, you'd end up with something that a guy would probably wear. But So we'll just work all the way along here. And I'm just using my finger to hold it in place, which means you're not getting the best view of what's happening here. I'm sorry about that. So the reason I'm wrapping the one cord all the way down first is because I want all the X's that this other cord will create to have a uniformity to them. So I want them all to end up on top of the other cord. Um, I don't know if you'll understand what I'm saying there. But now that we're, we're moving on to the other cord here, maybe it'll become a little more clear. Okay, so we've got the one cord wrapped all the way down. So I'm going to take the other cord across to create an X all the way along. And I kind of want all of this cord to end up on with the crossing on top. Because I think if you did it where they alternated, you'd see it a lot more. Like you'd, if you happened to get one wrong or something amongst all the rest, you'd end up seeing it. So here at the other end, I'm just going to create one more little square knot here. Just enough to finish it off.
And basically at this point, what I do is I just cut them nice and close, pull it good and tight, and add a little bit of glue onto the edges here. Um, the E6000 glue will dry clear, and nobody will know that that's where you ended. So I'm just going to trim them. A little bit of an advantage to having the wax cord is that it will stick to itself a little bit. So you can just kind of tuck it in. And then we'll just add a little bit of glue on each side. So once that glue dries, you add the clasp. So I've got a couple jump rings here and a magnetic clasp that just goes in between here. So I hope you enjoyed that and have a good day.